Welcome back to Game of Goons and another episode of Bioshock Infinite. Um, so today we continue on from last time. So we've met the Lutis uh, twins. Um, Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man yeah, pays for exactly 100 pages the, uh, in advance. Thing. Now I'm not? half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice as I know how it ends. So the Vox ones give a bit of information into like the propaganda a bit going on in the world. Um, so that's what we are So what I was sort of listening to just to get sort of an idea. Remember this ship now. So these like ships fly around with enemies on them. Um, so that's why I crouch, um trying to sneak um, around. Yeah, I was just trying to be a bit careful and be a bit cautious. Um, I don't think it'll be a jump scare, but I'm wondering where the enemies went. So like, oh, I saw the I saw the ship, and I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Me looking around for it, unable to find it. Oh, well, it's over there. I see it. And I hope it doesn't shoot me. If I could hook onto them with this skyhook. I was like, oh, okay, I can't get down. Uh, I thought the ship was something I needed to get to. Damn, I, like, I don't quite know what I can do. Ah, so the skyhook, so this got cut off, um, at the moment when you throw that baseball at the couple, um, or at the, like, the stage leader guy, um, you get the skyhook, which is, like, your melee, but it also allows you to do this, like, you jump on hooks and stuff, um, and land down. I like it. Just head for Oh no, just a stun. But then, of course, there's a massive fire and they're shooting at me. And I was like, I <laughs> didn't even realise. I did not realise. So, I apologise for the frantic combat as I <laughs> didn't realise I was going to be attacked by enemies. Me learning the game, I guess. Oh, I'm doing terrible in this combat. That's <laughs> so bad. My trap worked though, so I put down I put down the fire trap and I need to um, have some sort of effect, which is good. I think I think I consider going back there just to get a bit of cover. See if there's another way in. But there isn't. Unfortunately. Equipment there, some salt, some salt's good. I'm like, I, th I think there's another enemy around, but I can't, I can't tell where they are. So I'm trying to peek through like the gaps to see if I can see them before I run straight into the um, open. So I can hear them, but I don't know where they are. Um, so I think I lost a bit of footage there again. Um, so I do apologise, guys. But basically, clear the next session. There wasn't too many enemies in the next bit. This is one or two left. Um, this is the like the next area. Did you straight after? I was trying to get rid of the turret because that turret was killing me. Did a lot of damage. So I'm trying to avoid that. Everyone stay calm and lock your doors if you can. The prophet foresaw this day would come and he is prepared. The answer is no impact. There you go, turret shooting at me. 
I didn't realise it smashed the windows either, to be honest. No! I thought I could sneak up on it like this. Um, kind of had a little bit of an effect, but it wasn't quite perfect. Just trying to hide to get a bit of my shield back before I start shooting it again. I don't wait for it to reload. That's my shield. My pistol. My pistol. And done it. Got rid of that turret. The annoying turret. And I think I've got time to explore around a little bit here. There's not too much because it's like a combat area, so there wasn't too many secrets for me to find. Unfortunately. Did learn to check each of these though. And then there's all this house as well underneath. I'm like, oh. That's the way it doesn't want me to go, so I'm going to try until I make it. He's gone inside. And I hear enemies, and I don't know where they are, because they didn't follow me out. But they, they said my name. So I'm like, I think that's where I've got to go. Waiting for the people to turn up. I don't know where they went. Do I jump here, or do I change my mind and use the skyhook? Platform in. <laughs> so I think here I just sort of explore the um, house a bit, just trying to see what objects we find. This isn't like your the way you're meant to go. There's like a little area you can explore. There's still them guys around, I don't know where they went. So position out in the ready. And we'll use that just to see if we can get the enemy in a possession. So if there is more than one, then I've got a little bit of help on my side. But I don't know where they are, so I'm like, okay. Toilet, you can flush the toilet because cleaning this. I wash my hands. As you should do after the bathroom. <laughs> now a box of Otis works up at the lodge part-time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies. And I know for sure there is something Locked. dear inside. Problem is, Otis is so that, a fool that or not. Um, he didn't bother to secure Trump, a sorry. key from the Feathered Brothers um, to open the locked. damn thing. Um, you need a special key to find it, so it's like kind of like a, a submission. So that key's kind of a submission. Um, there is trying to go back here, change our objectives for the side quest. Locked. So he's on the side, I don't I think I'm like I don't really trust him to be honest. I wonder if he's gonna call some like guards or something at some point. I don't know if he does or not. Um, probably doesn't. Um, I get a bit nervous of him watching. I'm like, I'm gonna steal your stuff, but he's like he's witnessed me stealing everything. So I'm like, oh, do I Do I let him go or not? Um so I'm just, Just in case there's any enemies around. Well, I didn't realise there's no enemies around. And as you possess people, the one thing they do afterwards is kill himself. So, accidentally, um, I killed the villain. But while he's dead, I'll try and steal, like, <laughs> steal what he's got on him. Then got to go back to the next section. Huh. 
Yep, so on to the next section. Um, look at uh, being careful in case I have a load of enemies to decide to ambush me. But the combat music stopped, so I guess there's no one around. So, celebrate with some wine, take the coins, as always. There's two bottles of wine. It's risky. Yeah, I'm sort of having a look around before I enter this house. The Montgomery Residence. The music is playing, which makes me think people are around. Oh, there are people speaking actually. So I was right, I was right to be careful. Just in case, isn't it? Please speak to them. There are some police outside. I didn't know if they're going to come in or not, so I'm just being very, very careful. Let's turn the radio off so I can hear what's really going on. All right, let's move on. Hear the police write that down. I say thank you for uh, not allowing me to the presence of the police as I begin to loot all their items. <laughs> it's that's terrible things that gave him. But why not? So that door's locked, so I can't quite go out that, that way. And the reason they're keeping it quiet is because they've helping the people which are classed as like um, low life set people of colour. Um, and this is what I mean by the racist themes, which I give a warning every episode. Um, give a warning at the start of the series. Um, but these guys seem to be on the good side, and they seem to be helping the people that are ill. And that's why they didn't want police coming in, and didn't alert the police to my presence. Because I get discovered as well. Nice creepy music as well. Out of the door is where I've got to go. Just want to have a quick look around to the last little section. Yep, so now we're going to head outside. Yep, we're back into another combat situation. After him. This gets really like <laughs> tricky. Oh, it's not coming in. Eh? See him. They've got some turrets from the um, ship that's come down. They also got a lot of people, and I think they do try and flank me. The turret was getting my way, and I don't really know what to do because that turret. Tarby and Nate in a lot, a lot of trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot how bad my aiming was. Absolutely awful. I think I die here. Do I die here? Fire guy might get me. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Dead. I chose the worst position be honest. But it's really weird like, when you die as well. And it's like early on you have like that door. I run back inside just to get a bit of cover thinking they'll follow me in. A couple, a couple run away. And what I realised is they don't follow you in. He stands right by the door 
Um, well, we can. Can throw stuff in. He doesn't follow you in, if that makes sense. Which is weird. So I kind of cheated there, really, using the game against against him. <laughs> that turret is a pain. My character being called we'll get that mid kit. My character being called the false uh, shepherd, and now going to be hunted basically by the guards. So I can hear him. There's a turret still there. And there's another guy following me somewhere. I didn't didn't see him. I don't think. Well, I just know he's about. There you go. Found him. The combat music ended, so we know that the combat stopped. But there is that turret that I still got to deal with. Nice little vending machine there, but I don't know how much salt I've got. Not enough to cast possession on it. Now I do. Don't know if I do or not though. I do. I do. Because I need that money. So that time I was just trying to avoid the turret. Problem. The problem is I've got to try and find a way past the turret that's shooting at me. And it took me a while to realise what I should do is go around the other door, around the back of the vending machine and into that little carnival bit, the little stage bit. <laughs> oh, I do it. <laughs> I take the risk of it. Around the back. Just move. I don't know why I didn't run. I just like, nah, I just walk casually and just get a shot out of it. So there's a kinescope there. Run to the stage. Turret gets me there, I think. Yeah. So run around the back. I don't have medkit again. There's the uh, steampunk horses. May and away. As I'm trying to find a way to get to the turret. I think I think this is the way I do it now. Which I should have done a lot sooner. <laughs> to be honest. Kind of hit me here. I don't. I don't think it works. I don't think the obsession hit it. Boy, it would, but it didn't. Sorry, I learned that fireworks can be explosive barrels, but it's not that helpful to me. That time it's just a matter of just shooting it <laughs> quicker than <laughs> it can kill me. I could have done that a lot better to be honest. But learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Look at bins, they always have money. Apparently. So 
So I'm just exploring, having a look around, seeing what I can see, what I can find. Now that we're fairly safe. I think I'm expected to go into this creepy area here. So might have missed. I don't know if I go back and get that um, kinescope. I, I don't know. If I missed it. Yeah. So I missed that kinescope. Um, and then we come back to this creepy area. Um, so this creepy area is behind behind that door. Um, this bit is like a, a. They call it cult or something. I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, I might tell you in a second. But then like. It's really weird. You go from like the the area combat area in before to this area, and it's so so much creepier. It's and to be honest, it's not the whole game, just this little section. But this is like the feel of the game the first Bioshock had. I think someone's around because music's playing. Like who plays music if there's no one around to play? It? So I'm being cautious again. Just being very careful. Drop the milk spoof. So it's really weird. It's like a, it's like a alternate version of our history. And then rather being in the world under the sea, you're in a world in the skies. Oh, so I didn't, didn't realise. Got. Got attacked by a bunch of people. I think I'm like getting injured, so I run behind the bar. It's my protection. <laughs> Jump up, shoot. I'm aiming for headshots here. That's what I was trying to do. I thought I'd be quicker. Pick up the boxer phone, have a bit of explore. Crash behind the bar just in case. Angel Columbia gave onto the founders the tools to build a new Eden. They did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Yep, so there's exploring, this is the box of phone, have another look around, just trying to build up salts and stuff. I don't really want to take um, alcohol because I lose health, which I don't want to do. And I think once I'm done we begin to explore again, or continue on in this creepy mansion crow place. I don't know what it's called. It's some cult, it's some cult. I saw the crows eating, eating the feast. Leftover feast, what a waste of food. But there is some money there as well, so I'll take the money. Oh no, well this rotten food. Hence the crows, I guess. I'm surprised this game's not like Fallout, where if you drink too much alcohol, it just gives you like <laughs> minus to your stats. <laughs> Nothing like creepy crowing. Very creepy kind of feel. Again, we sent too often in this game. But that's how they still can do it. Taking the money. Then I think I do go back upstairs at some point. 
on his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from wealthy patrons who so sponsored them from this bit, I went upstairs, um, um, basically upstairs, it's just the upstairs of this room. And you come down here, and it's basically uh, like a cult, um, and and they're basically just dead. They listen to listen to listen to like a, a man reading. And it is our bird. Um, so I, d I dealt with the enemies. The wasn't too many of them. Um, and I picked up this key. Uh, this key is actually the uh, locked chest that we saw earlier on. Um, so I do think I'm heading back there. And, yeah, heading back there to get this locked chest. So see, there's, there's the upstairs of that room. Was there enemies in that bit? No, there wasn't any enemies in that bit. It's just an empty room, basically. So it's just the upstairs of that. Um, you got behind the statue and then into that room. It's really there, to be honest. You're really quiet at the moment. Um, so, but you do get the key. Um, there is some more guards who appeared now. And I'm trying to get back to that lock chest. So I'm going to try and be sneaky and try and take one of them out. But... <laughs> My, my ability to sneak failed me miserably. To steal the rest of the enemies. With the traps. I think that got I didn't. Oh, what? What? I didn't realize that. One of the guards ran into the fire. <laughs> I'm trying to get too focused shooting this one on the right. Now. So that means, oh, there is not one more enemy. This what you wanted? Devin dead. He's dead. You're a fool, boy. In the game, it sounded like it's coming from coming from that guy, but I couldn't work out where he was. I don't know if I find him. In the end, he sneaks after me, or I just run into him. I don't think I know where he is. Oh, no, yeah, there we go. Mine's on medium. Because why not? Doesn't die the first time. Unfortunately. We can I hope can read like. Oh, I do, I do come back for this. Can I skip? Just heading back into this building, um, or through this building. Sorry, back to the house across the way, um, and onto the locked chest before going back to the crow's mansion place, the cult's place, um, and trying to find my way to Monument Island. So I think after I get this locked chest, um, I'm going to be getting him back to the Crow's Mansion. Um, jumping in joy. To get another infusion and some salt. And on my way back to the mansion, I think it's probably a good, as I sort of run back, it's probably a good place to end the um, episode. Sort of here as I'm running back. 
Um, so if you are enjoying this series, remember to like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit the bell to get notified of our upcoming videos. Um, remember to put down our Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, and we've got some quite good stuff coming out in the next couple of weeks. We're doing the, the lockdown podcast, rambling on. Um, we'll get Kingdom Hearts Remind out for you. But keep up, um, but keep tuned. And we'll see you next time on Bioshock Infinite. Bye.